Hello there. I'm going to get this set up now. Easy one to choose this time because look at the damage on that. Look at that. It's kind of like veining on the car back. So I know which one I'm opening at least. This is only one Kenobi. And we're going to be looking at the Morgan Elspeth figure. Let me just get her open to start with. Really looking forward to this one though. Wow. Just before I get her out, I want to just go in on the figure and the packaging look really good. So she's a really weird character in the end. She, I'll, You know, I keep talking about Mando season two, the Jedi episode with Ahsoka. She was quite good in that, really good in that. But in this, I think she got criticized for not saying much or whatever, but she, whatever. She, um, she maybe wasn't as dynamic as she was in the Mando episode, but. She went really freaky when she turned into the witch or whatever. Night sister stuff. But look at that figure. It's just so good. And lovely soft goods there. Beautiful figure that. The likeness is really good. And I mentioned the Jocosta New yesterday. I'm going to bring her out again. Because just a very ornate. I know Jocosta appears well, is much older than, you know, Morgan Elspeth. But. Something about figures like that are just so great. Not a political figure. It's a Jedi. Obviously, well, she's a Jedi. She is a, uh, a witch, a night sister, it turns out. But, oh, come on, man. Work with me, camera. It's just a nice, uh, ornate looking figure. Like a cultured kind of thing, really. Almost like what you got with the prequels. Right. So what I'll do is I will leave that there. Let's have another look at the image on the car back. There's something really digital about this car back, don't you agree? Do you know what I mean? You can see it. It's been fake, doesn't it? What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen? That background looks like a digital background <laughs> or something. And there were other car backs as well. I'd say that his car back was like that as well. We've had loads of car backs like that, like that in TVC. They're either real or they're not really. Um, that one was always fake. You know what I mean? Like a computer image. Some of them are nice photographs, but you can tell they've just tarted them up in post-production. Some images look real, like that looks real. You know what I mean? Albeit the background's out of focus, whereby that background's in sharp focus, and it's just like you can see every detail of the marble there. I don't know, it's still a nice car back. I do like turquoise pills as well. And I'm going to mount the camera and get this figure set up, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, there's not much to set up. And ladies and gentlemen, here's a look at backstage here. This is definitely on its last legs. This is how I keep my phone attached to the tripod. Universal connection there. So if you click that off, you get the same. It screws on. This this was, this was came with a camcorder in 1992 with me dad's. You never used a tripod, but you could connect a camera to it. But these, this, I think I got this on eBay or something, connected to the same connector. And yeah, as you can see, I've tried, I've got another one in my loose figure room, but this one, I tried to fix it before with a glue gun, you can see there, but now it's, it's had it, ladies and gentlemen, you buy, you pay for what you get, this only cost a couple of quid, but um, it's almost had it, anyway, don't need that no more, I'm going to go handheld, and there's not much setup, she doesn't come with any weapons or anything like that, which is slightly disappointing, I could have sworn she used something, you could even give her the... Um, Mmm. Depends on if the clothing that she's wearing here matches Mando season two. The Beskar spear and have her dueling off with Ahsoka. I don't know. But um, I might just check out the articulation since there's not much I can do here. Nothing with her. But it's made up. It, that doesn't bother me. The fact she's got no accessories. What, what I do like is the absolute splendid detail of this. Look at that. This figure. Look at the likeness there. It's really good. I really liked her. She had something really sinister about her played by the actress who played her. I'll have to put the name up now. Especially in Mando 2. And she seemed to have total control or power or authority over Balon and that lot. But he had his own agenda, Balon. He was on he was just long for the ride, wasn't he? He wanted to get to that other galaxy. But then she went a bit crazy when they did their Night Sister magic on her and they turned her into like a kind of a zombie 
Or she just had those weird eyes and stuff. Ugh. Something quite freaky about that. Reminded me of something I've seen before in a movie. Yeah, it's a good figure. Something ventrousy about her as well, isn't there? Well, Night Sisters. Maybe I'm just thinking of Night Sisters. Lovely hair, detail of the hair there. I'm going to see if that's an individual strand that can be moved that. I think it is. On her left hand side. Watch the focus shift now when she goes dead narrow. Oh, the focus is held. I can't wait to get a new phone that's got manual focus, man. This does my nut in. The way that you can lose the focus. The peg holes, by the way, are um, understandably... Well, they're not that bad. I've seen worse. Even though she's a female, she's quite petite. She's got quite thin... Um, oh, so small feet. Even with the... Uh, what do you call it now? Rocker. It's still deep enough to plug on, see? See how shallow that is? If I shake, it's not going to come off. The stance doesn't seem that uh, wide. Let me just try and mount the camera again. Hang on. Yeah, even though it's on its last legs, this might just hold. Hang on. <laughs> Risky. Um, she should have. Let's have a look at her articulation. Oof, I don't want to... Sorry, love, I'm going to have to pull up your skirt. There you go. Yeah, I've got a wide stance there. So I might try and do something with that. It's a shame she hasn't got something. I can't remember what weapon she used in the series in Ahsoka. She had something. She was fighting Ahsoka with something. Some kind of rod or staff or something. I can't remember. So it's a bit weird that they've not included her with anything. I might just give her this, actually. Just for now. This came from the uh, HK87. Wow, look at her there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's a good pose. You can get her in with a weapon. So that's that's that. And look at that. I'm really happy. Peggles, you'd think... That, oh my God, we could never win, can we? You'd think that she'd have small peggles given the size of her feet and everything. But they're actually pissing on other <laughs> characters. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there. Got her in a pretty cool... Hang on, pose. Uh, this is just whetting my appetite for things like Asajj Ventress in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! The hair. I wanted to see if that strand was loose. No, it just looks it. It's very well detailed. Let's go in on the, the head there. Can you see it? The strands of hair really, yeah, that doesn't lift or anything like that. Um, but it really does serve to um, enhance the detail of the face. Really good. Three-dimensional, textured, very good indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Morgan Elspeth, the figure that I have been really looking forward to opening. I will be displaying her with her guards. Interesting to read the comments of the, what people have said about this sci-fi. Good eye sci-fi if you're watching. He said he was very disappointed with this figure. I'm not disappointed, but it could have been a lot more than it is. I tell you that for now. Thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. Pan up.